Eh bien, salut tout le monde et bienvenue chez John pour une nouvelle vidéo aujourd'hui sur la suite de Life is Strange, l'épisode 3, Chaos Theory. Donc, allons-y, c'est parti, car je vous rappelle, euh, si vous avez regardé le planning de la semaine prochaine, un live sur Life is Strange, épisode 4, tout entièrement. Donc, ça veut dire que ça ne sera pas en deux parties, mais ça sera vraiment euh, voilà. en une partie et ça sera en live comme d'habitude à partir de 21h ah, les chiens qui gueulent comme ça quand tu dors c'est énervant Ah oui, on est chez Chloé. Après avoir été se baigner dans la piscine du campus, prendre un selfie. Always remember this moment. N'oublie jamais cet instant. Allez. Photobomb. Ah putain, m'a fait peur. Deux fois qu'elle me fait peur, elle. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have... Oh, let's do it. We're going to get out of here. We're going to keep waving at the taxis. They keep turning their heads. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Yes, yes, I'm going to get dressed. I don't think I'll be washing today. Ah, et puis l'autre qui, l'autre qui m'appelle là, Ryan. I could have hid in the closet, and then David wouldn't be on my case. Ah, par contre, c'est le bordel. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Ah, dans ton bordel, ah bah, bah oui. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand T-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes, just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Vous savez quoi? 
Allez, comme en ce moment, on soutient les LGBT. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Eh ouais, on soutient les LGBT aussi ici sur la chaîne. Donc, pour ça que je l'ai fait parce qu'il n'y a pas de honte de voir deux filles s'embrasser ou voir deux hommes s'embrasser. Même si pour moi deux hommes. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit shot? C'est bizarre de voir que deux filles. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Pourquoi, Free après, breakfast. Après, j'ai rien contre. Je I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. <coughs> Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer, and she wanted to be a model. Ah, well, that's my girl. D'accord. Okay. Voilà. Nice. Chloe put my pic on her phone. I must have proved a Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. Bon, peut y aller. Là, c'est bon. On a fini. Allez. Au revoir, oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Mademoiselle Cofield, je tenais à vous remercier de vos actions envers ma fille, Kate. Vous avez fait preuve de grâce et de courage en montant avec elle sur le toit. Sachez que vous avez fait tout votre possible et que la vie de Kate n'était pas entre vos mains. Et entre les siennes à ce stade. Kate nous a quittés pour un monde meilleur, mais elle sera toujours avec nous et je sais qu'elle vous souhaite une vie bénie, longue et dynamique. Notre famille vous inclura toujours dans nos prières. Paix et joie. Richard Marsh. Je ne sais même pas ce qu'il faut faire là en vrai. Va falloir qu'on cuisine peut-être, non? <laughs> Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Ah, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. The pancakes! I'm Allez. dying for some of your famous pancakes. <laughs> I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. I can't go to the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. The eggs and the eggs. D'accord, bon, we have the eggs. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Well, the eggs. Well. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. 
Euh, le lait, normalement, c'est dans le frigo, madame, non Eh oh Genre, je vais devoir trouver après le lait. Ah non, elle est là. Now for the mother's milk. Du bon lait. Eh, <rire> hey, madame Vous voulez une bière Il <rire> y en a une sur la table. Non Bon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or... Wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. But she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Well, I think it's my son. I'm just going to stay there. No, but... I'm just going to stay there. No, but... Oh. Il y a le journal de Kate's Pierre Casal. Sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Ouais, on s'en fout, on va pas le lire, on n'a pas de truc à faire. Ouais, elle savait ça allait trouer au niveau de l'épaule. Et là, regardez. <rire> et t'as un trou, meuf, au niveau de ton... Mais non, mais... Au niveau de ton épaule. Bon, voilà. Mais on s'en fout so de much, votre Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Eh, puis quand quoi Eh, normalement, je suis invité. J'ai pas de vaisselle à faire normalement. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. 
She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Is that, is that I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. <laughs> no shit, it needs active. a password. How about step douche? Try it again. I need more clues. Euh, alors, euh, attends, on va chercher, hein. Il faut tout en chercher. Nothing to see here. Le mot de passe, c'est pas comme le bif, non Non Bon. Oh, sa femme. Oui. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Le beau-père. Mm -hmm. On va réessayer. Worst hacker ever. Ah bah ça c'est clair, un pire hacker du monde, ouais, c'est toi, ça c'est clair et net, hein. Euh, euh, placard. Nothing in it. Rien, à part une vieille télé des années 60. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Ouais, 7171. Allez, on va réessayer. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Eh ben ouais, ben allez. Alors, euh, c'est pas ça. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. You totally froze the laptop. Ah, oh, mais nos stress, c'est ça. I could try the license number for the password. Again. Oh. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Sizzle. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I'm <laughs> possible. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. No, it's bubble pair on the seat. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Uh huh.
such wrong. Uh, no way, Max. Oh, you man, totally uh, froze the laptop. Une verre chopée par l'autre. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Magic 8 Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Oh, tu fais un rapport avec la voiture. Joyce might as well have wrote Let's Get Married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. I know how to see it. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Was it quick? Whoa. Spoiler alert, Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Let's do it. Stop with the towel. Oh, Peter. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? That's what happens when you lose your job as head of Blackwell Security. What happened? What you would expect to happen in this PC college bullshit age. The principal takes the words of lying stone students over a veteran and law professional. Uh, again? This isn't the first time you've gotten in trouble there. Well, now it's the last time. I'll get a lawyer to sue their ass. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. I can't believe you got fired. No, of course I can believe you got fired. Did you threaten some poor student with a stockade? He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. 
I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Wally. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Locked. Food for you somewhere. I want to have a good Morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just... Too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. This is so creepy. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. 
Ai, mă mea zi, atunci omul văd de mesaj. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. You do make a composer. You got there. No reason to go now. Okay, no reason to go now. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. Looks like ass on you. Sure hope you're not following me. You're in enough trouble after you got David fired. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Your sugar daddy will always protect you, and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? 
so you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Mm, holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Hey, oh. Holy shit, what do you want now? <laughs> Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies, just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. We'll chat later, Max. Well, I'll go. I'll I shouldn't you. have said that. I'll need to rewind. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Mm -mm. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is great. What the fuck now? We'll chat later, Max. We'll chat later, Max. No reason to go now. <clears throat> what the fuck now? Holy shit, what do you want now? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> we'll chat later, Max. You ever see it? What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. Oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. 
Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Je veux pas me vendre de trucs. Et toi? Holy shit! What do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Good Bond, that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora, will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Like a pig. No, no, no. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank. <laughs> but. But. <clears throat> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Il faut faire quoi, putain? Il faut faire quoi? Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. I shouldn't have said that. I need to be mine. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? 
Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Alors, toi, petit con. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? You act so scary, but... You did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Mais non, mais... I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. My work here is done here, Frank. Oh, no, I'm fine, let's see. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Hit the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. Please, please do not let that poor dog be here. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Oh no, me no. Please, no, 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 vas-y, no, no. It's a big girl, Chloe. No, no, let's accept him. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. 
The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Uh, non, mais le pauvre chien, sérieux, putain. Trop marrant, quoi. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy druggie. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You you scope the area while I sit. Not a, nothing. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Of course, Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with res- Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. I could do now. I look good so. How can somebody live like this? I could do. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Curses. Nothing here. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Bon, on va le lire. Alors, j'espère que tu diras ce mot quand tu te réveilleras. Désolé pour hier soir. Désolé pour hier soir. Si j'ai mis le monde à l'envers. Tadam, 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 tadam. Non, on va. Non, je rigole. <rire> j'ai été une vraie connasse et je n'aurais pas dû me défouler sur toi. Et pauvre Pompidou. Il n'y a pas de, de truc tordu qui se passe dans ma vie. J'ai parfois l'impression que je ne pourrais jamais quitter 
Acad d'abeilles. Heureusement que tu es là. Tu es l'une des meilleures choses qui me soit arrivée. Et quand je pense à nous, je ne peux pas m'empêcher de sourire. Tirons-nous d'ici pour toujours. Je t'aime pour la vie. Ra comme Rachel. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. vraiment heureuse. Mm. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Eh, peut-être qu'il s'est I'm learning more about Rachel Whoa. than I want to know. I faisait des photos hmm. euh, Trouble time. in paradise. Ah, Franck, je n'ai pas apprécié ce que tu as fait. Ne rejette pas la faute sur la drogue. Tu m'as vraiment fait peur. J'ai cru que tu n'arriverais pas à te calmer. Je ne t'avais jamais vu te comporter comme ça. Et je te jure que la prochaine fois sera la dernière. Je suis du signe du lion et on ne regarde jamais en arrière. Je tiens à toi, à nous. Peut-être qu'on a besoin de changement. A coup, Namatata. Hé, hey, Chloé, j'ai trouvé euh, un truc. Vas-y, viens, c'est intéressant, c'est marrant. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Ton chien est d'or, gros, non, mais ça te dérange pas. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh, yes. Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Ah non, il trouve du slow quand même. Hein. Oh, 
Oh my God, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hint, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in crates? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crates. I'm 18 years I old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Uh, yeah. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. I had day fun. Joyce loves William so much. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I know I've seen those pictures before. What a mess we made. Uh, I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. 
Shit, where are my keys? Score! That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. That's a cool snow dough. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? Yeah. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight Never. your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. You'll be grateful for that someday. Crap. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come. And no Chloe and Max wine. Hard fun case. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupt! I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. 
We are awesome! Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so long. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Ben de güzel bir basın şu an söyledim. Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Oh, no. 
Ah non, c'est tellement gris. Ah <rire> J'ai fait une putain d'énorme connerie dans ce jeu. Pourquoi j'ai pas fait des bons choix Ah non, mais c'est tellement truc. Alors, euh, le truc, euh, premier épisode, on a eu de la neige. Deuxième épisode qu'on a fini, on a eu une éclipse. Là, troisième épisode qu'on finit, tout est bizarre, c'est parti en couille. Il y a même euh, l'autre là, euh, qui déteste et tout. Qui m'aime bien et tout. Il y a Warren qui sort avec une autre meuf alors que le euh, truc, elle est amoureuse. Et... de cours des choses en fait on saura euh, la suite dans l'épisode numéro 4 qui aura lieu mercredi euh, je crois c'est mercredi ou jeudi de 21h à minuit en live les amis donc j'espère que cette vidéo vous aura plu elle a duré un petit peu plus longtemps que, que les autres hein, euh, pour cette deuxième partie parce que la première partie j'étais un peu pressé donc j'ai moins fait de temps mais euh, là voilà quoi. Bon bah écoutez. On verra ça pour euh, l'épisode numéro 4 en live. On verra la suite. Comment qu'est-ce que j'ai foutu bordel de merde. Ok. Bon c'est pas grave. On, on verra. Hein. Euh... On verra plus tard. On va passer la cinématique, qu'est-ce que vous en pensez hein Allez, c'est parti. Ouais, bon, allez. Voilà. Écoutez les amis, c'est ici qu'on s'arrête. Hein, J'espère que cette vidéo vous aura plu. Moi, c'est nickel. N'oubliez pas de laisser le petit like et le petit commentaire. Ce qui fait toujours plaisir. Et n'hésitez pas non plus à vous abonner si ça n'est pas déjà fait. Nous, on se retrouve cet après-midi de 14h à 17h sur du Flight Simulator. Bye bye